Nous sommes les de Mbadjé. Nous sommes les présidents 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 de Mbadjé. It was very difficult to be candy because the Gambian players they have all the abilities, fitness, tactical and spiritual. We consider the, the, the spectators were behind them. The weather also was a bit of uh, high. But all that we play very good match and as well as Gambia play and their team is better than my team because normal understand that my team is a new team to this to this system. So based on that, we played them very well too, and the goal came at a very, very difficult time, where I can only understand that the, the, the goal came at the six minutes after uh, five minutes was additional time. But the goal came at the six minutes of that additional time, which I can understand. So the, what I can only say is say that the match was fairly played, and my girls played very well football, compared to the Gambian, that they are so technical than them. The Gambia will this weekend play host to two football clubs from the continent, Birkama United, we welcome Esperance de Tunis in the first leg of the final round of qualifiers for a place in the group stages for the CAF Clubs Champions League. Sports tonight visited the Gambian champions at the Birkama training grounds as they prepare to take on the ranging African champions. And we have details on that story in this report. After knocking out U.S. Wakam of Dakar, a fortnight ago, Birkama United now have their sights firmly fixed on this weekend's showdown with Esperance de Tunis. When Bikama United miraculously overturned a 1-0 deficit in the first leg to eliminate the Senegalese champions, the team returned home to a tumultuous welcome, hardly seen before in the country's club football. Since then, Champions League fever has gripped the West Coast region settlement ahead of Saturday's crunch encounter between the Gambian champions and aspirants of Tunisia, who are the reigning African champions and one of the most successful clubs on the continent, with a great history. The excitement leading to the game is fantastic with almost the whole of Bekama bracing themselves either one way or the other. The Saturday class is the main talking point as the day inches ever closer. The community reaction is visible. You know, from the training, it's an example of how much following the community has towards this team. Um, walking into the field, you'd have realized that there are posters everywhere. You know, go to any shop, go to any corner of Bekama, you know, go anywhere you know, you realize that um, there is awareness being raised towards this team. You know, even official billboards from Sarekunda down to Brikama and even into the interior of the Gambia, you know, you'll see the poster of Brikama United, you know, and, you know, tell the game between them and Esperance. So talking about the following, I mean, there is a state of preparedness, you know, from the chief, from the MPs, you know, both political, you know, and social, you know, the youth are into it, you know, for women, young children, the community, the committee running football in Brikama are all preparing very well. And like I said, um, from the thing today, the team is going to FIFA goal project for the camp. Now, they will be camping from today down to Saturday when they come out to play Esperance of Tunis. So honestly, uh, Modu, the whole Brikama community and the catchment areas are all putting everything in, into concern because we believe that um, this is a community football and Brikama United being in a community, everybody, you know, owns the team. You know, even the last time we had an interview with the chief and um, he has added his voice into the team and he had uh, spoken optimism that, um, I mean, everybody should rally behind the team and supporting them. And you can see it visible around here that people are coming here and supporting the team. So I believe uh, the community is not absent in their support and I think the boys have been motivated highly by the committee and which we believe that motivation will go a long way in salvaging the victory for Brikama United. Whilst the people of Brikama and football fans around the country anxiously awaits what certainly looks to be an intriguing encounter, the Sateba boys are preparing very hard for their titanic class. The team which went to camp on Tuesday is training twice daily to get themselves ready to face the Tunisians. Suleiman Kwiade is the man soldering the responsibility of guiding Bekama United to the group stage of the Champions League. Having already done the unthinkable by knocking out the Senegalese champion in his first major assignment, the young tactician is now faced with an even bigger task, 
But nonetheless, he is relishing the challenge of playing against the champions of Africa. As you can see, everybody is turning out for training. And then we've prepared ourselves since we have a break in the day. We didn't stop training, we just continue training. So we're preparing ourselves very well for the game because we know it's not going to be an easy game because experience the Tunis are the defending champions. So on that note, we have to respect them. But the preparation is very, very high. As you can see, today we're going to come and then to prepare for the game proper. How does it feel playing against a team like Esperance of Tunisia, the defending champions? Yeah, it's another experience because um, <laughs> if you play playing against such a team, at least you, you learn something, both technically and then tactically you learn something in the game and then you learn a lot from other teams. But all the same, they are just mere human beings and then we have to go and play, play with them. But we have learned a lot, we'll, we're going to learn a lot from them because this is going to be our second ex international experience and that we're going to play. Mm. Have you been getting some sleepless night? when you will lie down and be thinking about how to tackle the Tunisians? Yeah, it's, it's an everyday dream to me. Every day I think and sit down and think of, think of it. How can I tackle this Tunisian team? But um, nonetheless, <laughs> we just preparing for them and then we have to prepare very well to play against Tunis because we know what is at stake when we cross this stage. So everybody is prepared and we are preparing very well. But of course we must have sleepless night because we know we're going to face the defending champion. So it's not going to be easy when you want to eliminate the defending champions. So you have to you have to train like champions, and then you have to uh, play like champions also. So this is exactly what we want to demonstrate. We want to play like champions, and then we want to act like champions also on that day. Despite showing respect for his opponents, the Gaffa maintains that no fear factor will come into play when they face the Tunisians and will play them like any other team. Aside from knowing that Tunisia, um, Esperance is one of the most successful clubs in African football and being the defending champions, what else do you know about them? Um, experience, we've been monitoring them since we know we're going to play against them. We've been monitoring them both in, on the internet and then on their videos also. And then even yesterday we learned that they were playing. So, but it's unfortunate that we cannot get them on channel to see them play in life. But we have some of two or three or four to their videos. Somebody extracted for us and then give it to us. And then we're going to use that one when we are on camp to see the way they play, the way they attack and then the way they defend. So that at least we know how to defend them and then how to attack them also. So we have to prepare, we know all those things about them and then we have to prepare ourselves for them. And we are, that's what exactly we are doing. Urging everybody to come out on Saturday to come and sub give them the support that they need because it's only support that they need now. They are ready to fight for everything, so but we need to support them. So the only support that they need, I'm urging everybody to come out. For the Bekama United captain, they are going into Saturday's class full of confidence and ready to upset the Tunisians. So we have confidence in ourselves that we're going to make it. It's not going to be easy though because we never see them play. You know, we don't know them, they don't know us, but we, we do hear that they are good, you know, they are the champions of Africa, and I know it's not going to be easy, but inshallah, we're going to make it. The game might be just days away, but for some of the diehard fans, they can't wait to see their lads take on experience. A good number of them come to the training ground to work the boys' screen. One man who will certainly be there to cheer the team is this man called Lamin Dabo, widely known as FIFA. The Bekama United Chief supporter is also warming up for his own suit. All what this team need now is the support of the general public, and they are urging on all Gambians to fill the Box Bar Mini Stadium and cheer them to victory. Mumodes Jalo, GRT Sports. 24 hours later, Gamtel will also take to the pitch at the Independence Stadium to face Real de Bamako for a place in the group stages of the CAF Confederation Cup. Like Birkama United, Gamtel are also preparing hard for the big class. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. Yeah, as you see, 
uh, we start preparing uh, the 